Hi, hello. So, today I am doing a tier list because I am very very lazy. Specifically, I am doing a Gen 5 Pokemon tier list. Now the reason why I chose Gen 5 specifically is because Gen 5 used to be a pretty controversial generation, especially when it comes to the Pokemon, mainly because of old people, but yeah. So I decided that I would give my opinions on all of the Gen 5 Pokemon and go over which of them kinda suck and which of them are pretty good. Generally, I like most Pokemon, so because of that, the tiers go D tier is straight up just a bad Pokemon. C tier is acceptable. B tier is, you know, it's it's something. A tier is, it's good. And S tier is, it's one of my favorites. It's, it's a really fucking good Pokemon. So yeah, that's how we're going to be doing this. Starting with Victini, because it's the first in the Pokedex. Why? I don't know. Does anyone know? But yeah, Victini, it's pretty good, I think, but it's a mythical, so you never get to use it. You can't use it in competitive, you can't use it in game, you just can't use it. So it's gonna go into A tier, you know? It's good, but you can't use it. Then we have Snivy's line. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing each Pokemon individually. I guess in some cases I might, but I mean, Snivy's line, they're all going to S tier. They're all pretty fucking good. Why, why is it, why, what? Thank you. S tier. I don't think I need to say much else. It's good. I like it. Yeah. Then we have Tepig. Hmm. I'm gonna say Tepig is like a good B tier. Big Knight, D tier. Embor, D tier. Don't really like them too much. Then we have the... The what? Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say the what line. I don't... Why? Why? What? The what? Th that's the first thing that stood out to me here. I don't know. Oshawott line. Yeah. I know a lot of people dislike Samurott. I don't really understand why. I'm gonna put them all into A tier. They're good, but Samurott kind of sucks in game and in competitive when it comes to battling. So that kind of brings it down. But in terms of design, I like all of these. They're all good. Rat Rat and... Uh, mm, yeah. Then we have Lillipop. It's like a C tier. I can live with it, but it's not great. Burloin and uh, Lipard, both S tier. Fucking great Pokemon. Lipard is like, probably, maybe not in my top 10, but it's up there. It's one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, just a lot of D tiers. Mm. A lot of D tiers. I swear, I don't I don't dislike Gen 5. It's just beginning of the decks, not, not looking too, too great. Then we have Muna and... Uh, What's this thing called? So, Muna and its evolution. I would say like a good B tier. It's good. It's okay. You know, I I do like pigeons quite a bit, if you can't tell. And this is a pigeon. So, the other two, like a C tier. Blizzle and Substrika. These things are very meh. I think they're like the definition of B tier. They're okay, I guess. We have these three. Hmm. <laughs> I really like Boldor. Gigalith? I don't know. Its design is a bit odd. It has grown on me a bit. But uh, I'm gonna give them A tier. Because they are good, but not not like fantastic. Swoobat. I'm not gonna put them in the D tier. They're close. They're very close. They're not they're not great, but maybe not D tier bad. Excadrill. Oh, Excadrill. Yeah, drill burn, Excadrill. No, no, not you. Not you. <laughs> Escadrill, Drillbur... Mm, yeah, Drillbur goes there as well. Might as well. They're great. They're good. I'm not gonna be putting, like, Mega Odino you know, and other forms anywhere. Uh, so this thing can go into the bottom somewhere here. Uh, Odino, though. <laughs> D tier. Then we have these three. Fuck yes. I really like these. I really like Conkeldur. I've seen some people like shit on specifically Girder. Why? It's fucking cool. Look at it. Yeah, it, it, it gets as they're all of them. They're all fantastic. Let's let's give Seismitoad A. I like Seismitoad like a good amount more than these two. Then we have Sock and Throw. For Sock and Throw, I'm gonna have to add a new row called the Sock and Throw. Bro, is they're bad. They're really, really bad. Like, D tier isn't enough for them. They're awful. They fucking ooh.
We have Savadol, Swardloon, and Levani. This is gonna be weird, but Savadol and Levani, A tier. Swadloon, S tier. Swadloon is the most underrated Pokemon of all time. It looks so fucking cool, but no one ever talks about it. Then we have the Venipede uh, line. Hmm. I'm gonna give Venipede and Verlipede B tier. But this thing. C tier. Not, not, mm. I'm gonna give it a fucking D tier. I dislike it that much. I remember the first time I saw this evolution line, I was like, oh, that's cool. That's even cooler. And then I was like, oh, no. What happened? No. Yeah, I don't like this thing. Cottony, Whimsicott. Fuck it, S tier. I like these things. They're very good. Petalil. I, I have no clue what the fuck to think about this. No clue. Let's say B tier. Yeah. Then we have... What the fuck is Pasculin? What do I do with this thing? I guess like B tier. I don't dislike it, but I also don't like it. It's just kind of there. Then we have the Sandile line. I think just S tier. I don't think I need to explain myself. It's just S tier. Darumak and Darmanitan, B tier. Then we have Maractus. Now, Maractus is an interesting case. Everyone fucking likes this thing. I don't. Maybe a C tier. It's not the worst thing, but it's also just not good. Dwebel and Krussel. I'm gonna I'm gonna say A tier. My god, you know, what the fuck? Why did I... Why did I put it here? Then we have a Scrafty. Hmm. Nah, S tier. I, I was thinking, like, uh, maybe... Maybe not S tier, but no, it's S tier. Also, what happened to Scraggy? Hmm. Syphilis. I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna give it an A tier. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yamask and Kofakrigus. Yeah, like a B tier. These two. Fuck it, just C tier. No, no, not a big fan. Arken and Archaeops. S tier. Garbodor. Hmm. And th this is the big one, right? What do I think about Garbodor? It's like a C tier. Uh, you know, it works. I don't particularly really like it or think much of it, but it's there. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like Trubbish. Garbodor, hmm. Yeah, Trubbish, B tier. Garbodor, though, he, he stays in C tier. We have Zoro and Zoroark. I feel like the, these Pokemon, they have such a cool, cool like gimmick going on, but it just like doesn't really work in-game or in competitive or really anywhere. It just kind of doesn't. I'm gonna give them A tier. That that kind of keeps them from being in S tier. Which is weird because something like, you know, Archaeops is here. Don't don't question it. Minchino and Sinchino. Yeah, C tier. These things, D tier. Don't like them. They're weird. Solosis. Uh, Duotion. Duotion is another one. Duotion and uh, Swadloon. How are these Pokemon not like universally loved and celebrated? These are amazing. I really like this. Yeah, and then of course, Rhinoclus. They all go into us there. They're all great. Oh, <laughs> Ducklet. Uh, ducklet, Ducklet, Ducklet. What what to do with Ducklet? The Ducklet gets a D. And so does Fauna because... Yeah, it's just like a slightly larger Ducklet. But it's, it's still a Ducklet. Then we have the, the Ice Cream Pokemon. Which... I mean, they're pretty good. You know. Vanilla is... Van, Vani... What is the... Wait, what are the names? This is Vanillux, this is Vanillish, and this is Vanillice, right? But uh, these things are they're pretty good, I like them. What to do with Saucebuck? I feel like everyone kind of wants Saucebuck to be something, but it just never is. Yeah, C tier. Uh, Imolga, B tier. What to do with this thing? I guess B tier, sure. Carblast as well. Fungus and Among Us. Like B tier. Uh, Frillish, I'd say like B tier. It looks kinda odd. Jellicent though, S tier. Great Pokemon. Uh, Amolololala. Sock and Throat tier. Choltic. And Galvantula. It's probably the most controversial thing in this video. They're like B tier. They're fine. They're, you know, they're okay. Are they like even close to A or S? No. They're just fine. Then Ferrocede and Ferdorn. Obviously S tier. Fantastic. I'm gonna give Kling and Clang A tier, and then Kling Clang S tier. 
yeah, the whole dynamo... Is it dynamo or dynamo? I'm not sure. Uh, the, the whole fucking Electros line gets A tier. Then we have LGM and BHM. Uh, I guess B tier? I feel like these are also Pokemon that I really disliked like long time ago. But nowadays I, I'm i fine with them. They're pretty good. Then, hmm. I guess they all go in S tier. I was thinking like uh, maybe like, you know, maybe Chandler is the only one that goes into S tier. But no, they're all, they're all good. We have obviously, you know, Axu line, just S tier. I don't think there's much to say about it. Kabuchu and Bertic. I'm gonna spare Kabuchu, but Bertic, you're going in, you're going fucking D tier, buddy. We have the Cryogonal, um, uh, Cryogonal, I don't know. Yeah, just no. Shelmet, uh, I mean, sure, C tier, and this thing, like, B tier, maybe? What the fuck do I do with a Stunfisk? Maybe, like, B tier? Then we have the best Pokemon, uh, Mianfu and Mianxia. They're like genuinely like my top five favorite Pokemon, or close. Somewhere in there. They're really fucking good. I really like them. Drodigon, uh, D tier. Golet and Golurk. I feel bad, but no, no, D tier. I really like just tried to think of like reasons to like these Pokemon and just couldn't come up with any. Ponyard and Bisharp, uh, S tier. Buffalant, yeah, D tier, buddy. Breviary. I mean, it has to go to S tier, right? It just has to. Wallaby and Mandibus. Give Wallaby like a B tier. Mandibus like A. Heat more. Heat more. Hmm. Why did they do this? E tier. You don't, you don't even get to be in the sock and throw tier. You're just. Hmm. This is probably the worst Pokemon. Then we have Durant. Uh, maybe like B tier. They Dino, Spilus, and Hydreigon. And Hydreigon is obviously S tier. But then the question is, are these two also S tier? I think they are. Yeah. They do like a fine job being like pseudo uh, pre-evolutions. Volcarona. I really don't like Volcarona as much as other people do. I feel like it's a bit overrated, right? It's good. But I just feel like it gets a bit too overhyped. Cobalion's kind of cool. I'm gonna give it like an A tier. Uh, Terrakion's like a good D tier. Uh, Imperiusion is like a C tier. Uh, then we have the genies. Mm, the incarnate forms, not the biggest fan of. So I'm, I'm gonna give all of them like D tier. Maybe Thunderous gets a B tier. I like it the most out of the incarnate forms. Yeah, Landorus gets actually a D tier. I really don't like Landorus Incarnate, it just looks odd. But the Terrian forms though, that's a different story. I think Landorus Terrian gets like a good B tier. Tornadus Terrian, A tier, and Thunderous Terrian, S tier. I really like this Pokemon. Why doesn't it have a special flying type move? Why? How in the year 2021 does a flying type legendary Pokemon not have a special stab move? What is going on, Game Freak? What is happening? Then we have Reshiram. Now, Reshiram... It's like a B tier. Then, Sect from... A tier? Kyurem? I guess C tier. Kyurem white and Kyurem black, though. S tier. I... They just, like, don't even look like Pokemon anymore, and I kind of like that. Uh, then we have Keldeo. Now, uh, D tier. Uh, other form Keldeo. Also D tier. I normally wouldn't rate the form, but since it's Keldeo, I'm gonna put in D tier. Uh, Meloeda, uh, D tier. Meloeda other form, sure, D tier as well. Genesect though, I'm gonna give it S tier. Even though it's a mythical, so I never got to use it. But it's also fucking Genesect. It's so fucking cool. Yeah, Genesect S tier, easy. And that was it. That's the whole tier list now done. This is what S tier looks like. A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier, and of course sock and throw tier. It's a good gen, it's a good gen. But it's definitely... One of the more polarizing gens. But it's overall, overall opinion. It's a good gen. It works. It's nice. It has some really fucking good Pokemon in it. Hopefully the next one will be something a little bit more high effort. Uh, believe it or not, I actually sometimes do those kind of videos as well, where I like actually like, you know, put in some time and effort. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I do that sometimes. You should maybe like watch one of those videos if you enjoyed this one. I'll like put it at the end screen there so you can like click on it and shit. Maybe consider it. 
Hmm? So yeah, I am sorry to all of the Boofland fans out there, and I'll see you someday, maybe. Bye.